Miss Denise, and we're going to do a Native American lesson today. We are going to use arrows for our inspiration, and we're going to use rulers and measuring. We are going to use geometric shapes, and also I want to just say that artists know how to use rulers, so don't think that's a hard part or not a fun part. It's actually kind of fun. Let's get started. This lesson is called Native American Mathematical Arrows. You can see right here this arrow that I drew. And this is kind of what we're going to do, but you're going to do it your way, of course. There's, this was done with marker, but there's other ways to do it. For instance, these are watercolor arrows. They, well, they were drawn with pencil and sh Sharpie put on and then finished in watercolor. This is a good size to do for an arrow. It's a piece of paper four and a half inches by 12 inches. But you could do it smaller too. This is watercolor paper. I wanted a heavier paper. Or you could use a board. I just wanted to show you the possibilities. I have some shapes here that I'm going to use. Now, I don't know if you have these kind of things in your house. I just love these kind of things. And I have a compass. That's called a compass. I have, um, well, sort of a triangle. And anyway, they're from geometric uh, sets, drawing sets. If you don't have these kind of templates for circles, you can always collect tape rolls after they're done. I have lots of different sizes of those. So I just wanted to show you that. Here's a picture. I just thought it might be nice to see a photocopy of all the different kinds of Native American arrows there are. And there's more than just this. These are just to give you some ideas. We are going to use a ruler and do lots of measurements. We're going to make friends with geometric shapes like these. First of all, I just want to mention that the arrowheads um, that are the most important part of the arrow in a way, um, they come in many different proportions. Do you notice how these triangles, some of them are wide, some of them are thin, some of them are purely decorative. You can get fancy. Let's get creative with that ruler. Some design elements begin with a square, some with a rectangle. Measuring is fun, straight lines are cool. Let's get started. I'm going to do this size, the four and a half inch by 12 inch piece of paper. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line down the middle. As with all of my drawing lessons, I ask that you draw lightly, even though I'm drawing heavily. I'm drawing heavy so you can see my marks on the film. So I just made this kind of in half. It's, it's okay if it's not perfect. Now I don't want my arrow to touch the edges so I'm going to make a mark here and here and that just shows me oh yeah I want my arrow to stop there. So step one is to draw a line down the center of your paper. Step two is to draw mark how long you want your arrow. And step three is to put in your triangle, your arrowhead. Now I could, it wouldn't be really fair if I just used this triangle from my stencil, so I'm not going to. I'm going to show you how to do an equal triangle. I'm saying, okay, I want my arrowhead this long, so I put a little mark there. That's how long I want it. And now I'm going to measure I'm going to say that I want it one inch this way and one inch this way. So now I've got it equal. And there's the point that I want it to connect with. Here goes. 
one and two. Okay, now I've just made a plain triangle. Maybe I want to make it fancy. So I could just go like that and like that. Now this is just me. I'm just showing you how to make it fancy if you wanted to. You can make it fancy in many different ways that you even have in your imagination. I might even want it kind of open here just for fun. Again, you don't have to do that. So there, I've, I've kind of got a fancy arrow started here. Now I'm going to draw the body of the arrow. I might make it as thick as my ruler. That would kind of be the easiest thing to do. Yeah, I'll do that. I like that. But I want to make room for the feathers. So I'm going to make the bottom of the arrow however I want, and you can make it however you want. It could just be square there. And now I'm going to lay a spot in so I know where the the feathers are going to be. I think it better be your turn for you to kind of catch up and get started and then we'll return and we'll keep working with design. Okay, so hopefully you're caught up with me a little bit. Maybe I went too fast, hopefully not. And now I'm going to lay in my feathers. They kind of look a little bit like a rocket right now. But I can change that a little bit. Let's see. I want at least two feathers there. Or this is could be just um, one feather split. Sort of like that. Yeah, I like that. Kind of like a bird. I like that. I'm going to make it a little thinner. I'm just doing a little adjustment before we start designing it. Now I'm going to erase any lines I don't want. You saw me do this before in other lessons. My guidelines, I get rid of them when I don't need them anymore so I can better see what I have. Okay. I don't want to make that a little thinner yet. And not by much. Why did I even bother? I don't know. Something in me saw that it should be a little thinner for some reason. So I, I just listened to the little voice. Okay, there we go. Oh, I think I'll make this different too. Something's telling me to. I don't know why. I'm just following my kind of my urges right now. It's important to let your artist play. Okay, I like that. I want to show you some different ideas. I've just shown you this, but look at this. Get your arrow started. And, oh, look, I measured for this one. And the reason I measured, okay, let's do that. Now let's divide, and you can use inches or centimeters. These are the inches on this side and the centimeters on this other side. 
Your ruler might only have inches, so we'll use inches. So I'm going to measure everywhere there's an inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, six inch, seven. And I'm going to put a little line down. So this is the first part of my design, is that I wanted it divided into seven equal, kind of, they're almost squares, they're more like rectangles. I think I'll leave this long so it's actually six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven parts. Okay. Now here's some different ideas. We've looked at this before. You can go into all your squares and you can make them however you want. You could make this whole arrow with the shape like that, the, air, the stem on the arrow. I am going to divide them into an, with an X. I don't know why, I just want to. And I'm going to do every other one. I hope you can see what I'm doing. And this one, hmm. Oh, that would be interesting, I think. Just do it like that. Now, if I want to, I could keep it square, and I could do um, a different set of lines. I could divide this into three now and go this way. That's kind of cool. See how I'm just... I didn't measure that, but I'm just breaking it into thirds with my eye, kind of. I like that. And maybe in this circle, there could be something fancy. Let's try something. Ooh, maybe something like up here that's in the top part of the arrow. Just to bring the design element down. Oh, I might do one down here too. And stretch that a bit. I'm pretty happy with that. Do you know that you don't even have to keep your arrow straight? You could even make wobbly lines. Let's divide, let's do this on here, just to see what that, how to do that, okay? First thing I'm going to do, if I want to do this kind of uh, this kind of design on my arrow, then I would divide this into half, like so, first. And then, I would make a halfway mark here on each end and I would go from the very corner to here and turn it around and go from the very corner to here on the other side. And then I'd go from the very corner here to there and And then you can kind of make a geometric shape like this. And that could be the whole length of your arrow if you wanted something like that. It's really up to you. You can do it and design it however you want. It's your turn now.
Okay, hopefully you have your arrow all done in pencil. Now, at this point, what I like to do is I like to go over my design with Sharpie and then I erase the pencil lines. I'm going to show you how I do that. And I still use the ruler because I want my lines straight. Here goes. I'm using my slightly bigger Sharpie right now. I turn my paper around a lot when I draw and that's so that I can get swooping lines easy. I think I'm going to use the smaller Sharpie next and my ruler. Now you don't have to use your ruler if you trust your hand. You can just go over your lines like so. If you have a steady hand, I didn't mean trust your hand, if you have a steady hand. Ooh, I'm almost done. I want to add some things. more fancy details, more things that will be fun to color. Okay, I think I'm done. And now I erase the pencil lines. Carefully and thoroughly. See, I also erased the center line. I didn't really want that to stay. Okay, so I'm done with my arrow. And it's now time to color it. I hope yours was a lot of fun and I hope you have fun coloring it and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.